Let's come back to Nigeria with a much talked about infrastructure company of Nigeria's PLC, simply known as Infracore PLC, could be said to have gotten off the ground. Uh, a board is already in place, a new board, by the way, headed by the central bank governor himself, Godwin Emifile, while a founding CEO, Lazaro Zagbazo, was announced at the weekend as the Hemsman. He is currently putting his own team together, while some initial infrastructure projects had been named. Now, now, chatting me to the latest on this development is a long-time business journalist and publisher of the Money Report, Nick Obuli. A good evening to you, my friend. It's good to have you here connecting to us. Thank you so much, Boson. Yeah. Do How are you? I'm good. I'm doing good today. How about you, my friend? Yeah, really good. I can see it. Well, okay. So, do you think that the new Infraco PLC is getting off to a good start by the virtue of a new board of directors in place, the selection of a new CEO. Thank you, thank you, Boston. Actually, this is um, about a year or more when the idea of Infra was mooted by the CBN, and everybody has been waiting, asking questions, doing other things, based on the fact that we have a, a whole, you know, and infrastructure or investment, I mean, assets that are waiting for rehabilitation in our hands. Really, this is, the best, this is a very good time. It's better to start than not to start at all. I think I praise the cost of the central bank while doing this, because it's not easy to start talking of an investment that would, you know, demand as much as 35 trillion, um, yeah, no, in that kind of investment, that is not something you would want some a country or um, an economy to develop or find a way of getting into it at this point, especially when the global economy is um, is is go, is, go, is hellwire in the recess of it. I think it's a, it's a very good time. It's a very good move, and I I, I mean I, I salute the courage of the Apex Bank for doing this right now. Last week when the African Corporate, uh, Finance Corporation had these programs in Lagos here. Questions on Infraco came up and all that. But it was obvious that something would be done soon, you know, from what Kabiru, the, um, the chief executive of AFC, explained. And we thought that it was the same story of, um, you know, we are going to do this today, we are going to do it tomorrow. He said that CBN is already been something. In the next few days, we will hear from them. And it has happened. I think it's a very good development. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so uh, how will Infraco PLC really run as an organization? How is this structured? Is it an infrastructure company? Is it an investment vehicle? Uh, what do you know about this, Nick? Yes, uh, as we go on, the real structure of the institution will emerge. But right now, it is a, a, a sort of... A, it is an investment institution. Institution. It's an institution that will look at the decades of poor, you know, arrangements within the real development assets in, in the country. For instance, we are talking about uh, um, health, good health uh, situations, you know, hospitals and all that. But when you have a hospital, what do you have inside it? You are talking about uh, things like schools. You have a university. You have about one sixty universities in the country. What are inside them? You are talking of uh, bridges and uh, a, a lot of things. So how do you manage them? And it, I think it, it is really an institution that could be more than a bank, could be more than an investment outfit, could be more than a structural development development company in the real sense of it. So the way it will run would be like: Is it a bank? Is it an agency that takes care of government shortcomings? Well, an admixture of all these things. Yeah, but, but uh, Nick, it is, it is going to be. Nick, yeah. well, part of what has been said by the central bank governor himself was that look, they want to have a completely blue ocean. They don't want to run into the shark invested ocean of the existing yeah. government projects and infrastructure which you neither see the money nor the projects or sometimes not even the quality of the money that you have borrowed 
or you've put it out of your own money. So they want a blue ocean. They want new projects for themselves. They want to run this as a private sector because they're going to raise bonds and, and, and equities and, and debts and all paper. So this is no free lunch. This is no free money. We're talking about trillions of Naira here. They're not coming from the, yeah. from the government. They're going to come from private sector, yeah. both within Nigeria and globally speaking. Does that sound like music? Does that look like a new, uh, a new direction for you in trying to resolve Nigeria's very poor infrastructure? Yeah, it is a new direction in an old direction because the issue is this. You can't have AFC, um, sovereign wealth fund, and CBN together are not coming up with something very different. AFC and Sovereign Wealth Fund are looking for investment that will yield income. Just like they said, they told us today, they want to make, I mean, present benefits, present returns to shareholders, or state stakeholders. How do they do it? They are doing it based on the fact that they would really work like a private sector investment with income, you know, at the, at the front of their heads. So there is, there's something that we run like, is a private um, investment, is a private sector setup. It is going to be a total setup that we look at income. Thank you so much. Uh, do have a great evening, uh, Nico Bouillet, publisher of The Money Report.